Hey everyone, that STEM guy here. No matter where in the world your classroom is located, I hope you are having a great day. I am super excited for this video. We're gonna do our first STEM product review. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the official scratch coding cards. All right, so I got this product at Barnes and Noble. I kind of found it as sort of like a bookend in the programming section and I picked it up and immediately I was like, wow, this is pretty heavy. And as somebody that associates heft with quality, I was already kind of hooked on buying this. On the cover of the product, we see it's for ages eight and up. It contains 76 cards and it is for Scratch 3.0, which is the newest and latest version of the program. Uh, the back of the product uh, says that we can use this collection of simple Scratch coding activities to create our own games, stories, music, and animations. Each card features step-by-step -step instructions that invite you into the magical world of coding one card at a time. So I picked this up and I'm thinking we got 76 different activities. Uh, I can put these in centers. The kids are going to have endless amount of content. They're going to be bouncing around to different cards, doing different programs. Um, it sounded great on the back and I got it home and my disappointment um, was really immense when I opened this product up. So when I open it up, the first thing you're greeted with is this official scratch coding card kind of booklet. And it became super evident that this is not 76 different coding cards with 76 different activities. This is a set of 10 different coding units, I'll call them. And all of them range from five to, or excuse me, from six to nine cards per unit. The 10 units that you get in the set are animate a name, animate a character, the chase game, make music, create a story, the pong game, let's dance, the jumping game, virtual pet, and the catch game. So the cards themselves are pretty big. Um, the first card in each set is basically a title card, just kind of telling you what the lesson is and what cards are part of it. Each individual card, again, they're, they're pretty big. They're about a little bit bigger than the size of my hand. The first page of the card will show you a nice picture of what you're actually gonna be coding. And the back of the card tells you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually code it. It is super, super, super thorough and in-depth and just so easy to follow. I coded all 10 of these units. I had a lot of fun. Um, it was really easy. I think anybody that has you know, no coding experience at all can pick these cards up and sit down and be able to actually code this program and have fun while doing it. So our rating systems on this channel are gonna be based on versatility, durability, and fun factor. We'll start with versatility. Um, versatility for me is about a six out of 10. These cards are simply for coding. You can stick them in a center and you know the kids will code the activity. There's not a whole lot else you can do with them. Um, there's not a whole lot of other uses for them. They are simply cards to sit down and code the program on the lesson. So they're not super versatile. However, there is a lot of differentiation that goes into each program. The kids can really put their personality into their code, changing their characters, their background, their colors, their fonts, um, the way the program moves, the music in the program. So they can express a lot of creativity and a lot of their own individuality into their program. Two students sitting side by side, going off the same unit, will have a, same, a similar functioning program, but they're gonna look totally different because each kid's gonna bring their own artistic style to the program. So I think that bumps up the versatility score for me because of how differentiated it is. You can sit down and code these programs two or three different times and every time it kind of looks a little different, but with the same outcome. Durability. Guys, I'm sorry, Scratch, be better. Um, just be better. The durability on these things for me is a one out of 10. They are so flimsical. Um, these are gonna get messed up in your classroom. You're gonna have to do a lot of modification in order to make these things last. Um, I would recommend laminating them. Laminating them. That's what I'm gonna do. 
I would also recommend that each set, you put a hole punch and a steel ring clip on just so that they don't get lost. Uh, each unit is made up of just individual cards. And if you lose one card in the set, you're losing a big part of the program. So, I mean, kids are gonna lose things. They're gonna get misplaced. They're gonna get out of order. So you wanna do everything in your power to kind of keep these things together. So on a durability factor, it's it, this product is really, really, really lacking. So a little hint. Um, one of the things I was thinking of with this product is, oh man, if a kid does lose a card, am I just out of luck? Is that whole unit of cards just no good anymore? Am I gonna be able to get an extra copy? Should I scan all of these in? So I went on Scratch's website and I actually found out that the entire set of cards, this entire set of 76 cards can be downloaded as a free PDF, okay? A free PDF. I paid $24 for this pack and I was even more disappointed when I found out I can get this for free. Not to mention there is another unit in the PDF version that's not in the cards, that's an augmented reality type game where students can use their own live video to interact with their program, which is I think the funnest one. And it's not even in here, but it's in the free PDF. So if you do lose a card, you can absolutely download, save that PDF, print out the card you're losing, resize it, relaminate it, and put it right back in your kit and you're good to go. So that's nice. However, for the price point, at 20, at coming in just under $25. The fact that you're offering this product for free online, uh, just, it didn't really sit well with me. Uh, I was a little disappointed to find out that anybody can just kind of have access to this for free without buying it. The last category is Fun Factor, and Fun Factor for me is an eight out of 10. This product is fun. Every single lesson that I coded, I had fun doing. There's a ton of games for the kids to code. The Pong game, the jumping game, the dance game, the digital pet, all super duper fun, all super duper engaging. The kids will have a blast coding these in your classroom. So the fun factor is definitely high. The replayability is a little low. I think once kids kind of code this program two, three, four times, they're probably gonna pick it up and not need the cards anymore and not need to go back to the cards. But that just means that the learning worked, that the kids actually learned how to code from the cards so the product served its purpose. So the fun factor for me is an eight out of 10. That brings our total score for the official Scratch Coding Cards to a nice round five out of 10. Five out of 10 for this product. I think it is something that definitely can be utilized in your classroom. Um, you're gonna have to do some modifications to it. Again, the first thing I would do is, there's no way you're handing these out to your kids without laminating them. Um, make sure you hole punch them, keep them together. Download that PDF while it's free. I don't know if it's a mistake that they're giving this away for free or if it's intentional, but download that in case you do lose a card so that you can print them out and be able to complete your set again. I think it's, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I'm excited to use this in my classroom. It's you know, a great kind of rainy day, you're out sick, need a sub kind of thing that the kids can pull out and have fun with. Um, it's also something that if kids finish a project or finish a build early, they can go ahead and grab an iPad or grab their Chromebooks and jump on and code a program and have some fun and, and try something different. Um, the programs each take about, I would say 15 to 20 minutes to code. So they can definitely kind of rotate through centers too. And you could probably get a couple weeks or a couple days worth of lessons out of just kind of rotating through the 10 that are in the box. So for me, this product is a buy. The score is a little bit lower than something that I would recommend as a buy. But I, I think that the, the use of the product is there and it's something that my kids will really enjoy. If you're interested in buying this product, I put the link in the video description below. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I got a whole bunch more STEM product reviews coming. I cannot wait to show you what's coming next. So like and subscribe on this video and I will see you next time.